Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to talk about the new velvet lipsticks that Lisa Eldridge just launched. Actually, you know what? You could pre-order them but some of them are already out of stock. That says a lot about how much people loved her first launch when she came out with red lipsticks, the, the velvet red lipsticks. I'm gonna put a link here. I'm gonna put a link in here with the first collection that she launched with the beautiful red lipsticks that are now available on her website. So in this video it's all about these lipsticks, what they look like on me, how's the texture. I have not tried them yet, the, the six new colors. So we're gonna discover them together. She's got nudes, browns and berries amazing colors so if you'd like to see how they look like on me keep on watching but before don't forget to subscribe <laughs> subscribe to my youtube channel click on the ring bell button it would mean the world to me now if you'd like to see all the new six shades of the velvet lipsticks by lisa eldridge then please keep on watching dear friends and family these gorgeousness came a few days ago and I didn't touch them because I wanted to show you in here. I wanted to discover the colors with you. Not that Lisa needs any kind of introduction, but for those of you who do not know who Lisa Eldridge is, she is an amazing makeup artist. And I'm not just saying that she's a famous, a lot of people are famous our days, but she's incredibly talented and 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 passionate, like real passionate about makeup. She launched three velvet red lipsticks last year, I think in December or something like that. And those were just spectacular. She sold out in just a few days. Now she came out with new colors from the same velvet collection. Six new incredible colors. She's got nudes and berries. These colors are inspired by some of the old lipsticks from her collection and also inspired by um, paintings and just art, which I find it so fabulous and so interesting. And it makes me love these lipsticks even more because they have, you know, they have a history, they have an intention. I've put a reminder November 3rd on my phone so that Right when they launched, I immediately went on her website and ordered these six new shades because that's my way of supporting an artist that I absolutely love and respect. But then she sent me these lipsticks in PR, which is fabulous because then I can keep those in my collection. I, I have new sets of her uh, summer uh, lipsticks and also the first reds. I have them in my collection as well. I just wanted to thank Lisa for sending me these. They're quite impressive and from what she said on her social media and on her YouTube channel, these were very, very hard to create. Impeccable in the way they look. They have magnets just like the red ones that she first launched. If you got the chance, to buy those, you are very, very lucky. If not, you have a second chance now. They're still available, except for one or two colors. They're still available on her website, lisaeldridge.com. I think you got the point about these lipsticks. I'm going to just start applying them. I did not touch them. Check this out. This is in Velvet Decade. Now this is applying very, very easy. I'm just a little maniac with my contour. I want it to be perfect, but I will never make it perfect, so whatever. This color is exactly the way I have imagined it. it makes my teeth so white. Oh my God, it's so beautiful it just goes with the colors that i have on my eyes my top i love it i think this is rich and classic in the same time i know that it's not everybody's cup of tea but um 
it really works with every single skin tone and I'll explain why I believe so. With the light, fair skin color, it's going to pop. I do want to mention that right now my skin is a medium tone because I have self tan all over my body and then my foundation is quite dark. For medium and for dark and deep dark skin tone this is going to look absolutely fantastic but just wanted to put it out there that even for light skin tone if you want to create like a statement lip then you could absolutely apply this i, I couldn't wait to, to test this color in particular this is velvet decade let's talk a little bit about texture first of all it's a very very comfortable lipstick the kind of lipstick that is matte with a satin finish as you can see it has a slightly satin finish it's rich in pigment this glides on beautiful just like the first collection of the three reds if you saw me talking about that um, those lipsticks this is exactly the same formula probably or at least that's how I feel it maybe slightly just slightly more hydrating taking this off moving on with the next lipstick and let's let's do the the dark ones first uh, because I love dark lipsticks I love deep reds I love these berry uh, lipsticks so um, let's go on with the velvet midnight wow what an amazing color again it's one of those lipsticks that it's gonna make your teeth look incredibly white wear it with a white shirt or a white t-shirt and just a, a, a black blazer. I think it's just beautiful. Love it. This is Velvet Midnight. The next one I'm going to try is the Velvet Myth. Mm. Oh my god, my friend right here, she's like, wow. You guys, they glide like a dream. I don't feel the need of applying a lip liner with these because they're very, very pigmented. If you do feel the need to apply a lip liner, go ahead. What a beautiful, perfect berry color. Again, it has that blue undertone that makes your teeth look incredibly white. So ladies, this is Velvet Myth. Moving on with Velvet Beauty. It's almost like the color of my lips. It's like my lips, but better. I can feel that this one is a little bit more matte than the other ones. I think a lot of women would love this color because it just gives that fresh look for the whole face, just brightens the whole face. I do like it so much. Again, the teeth look much whiter than, than what they are. Slightly, but slightly more matte. I can feel it just a little bit more dry, this one, but not in a disturbing way, not in an uncomfortable way. It doesn't suck the life out of my lips. Again, very easy to apply without the lip liner or without the brush I did I did it straight from the bullet this is velvet beauty next one is a velvet muse I think this might be my favorite color lipstick of all times this feels so good on the lips so rich and luxurious fair light medium deep doesn't matter the tone of your skin, it doesn't matter the undertone of your skin, this is perfection. It's just out of this world, the color, it's barely there, but enough to give you shape, enough to give you volume, like plumpiness. The kind of lipstick that you want to have in your bag, because you could apply it without necessarily using a mirror. You could apply it anywhere, anytime, for your work, 
for an interview, meeting the parents, going for a date, going out with your friends, it doesn't matter. This is perfect for any occasion. And it's very subtle. The color is discreet, absolutely in love with Velvet Muse. So these last two colors, the one that you've just seen me with, the Velvet Muse and then the Velvet Phone. So many of you would love these colors. They are similar but not quite. This one has a little bit more of that warm undertone. Between the two of them, get them both. Here, I said it. <laughs> How amazing is this fantastic color? This is the closest to a nude. Of course, what's nude for me might not be nude for you because it's all about the skin tone when you're choosing lipstick. A little bit more matte than the previous one, or at least that's how I feel it on my lips right now. Again, nothing disturbing, nothing uncomfortable. Beautiful, everyday color. Uh, I would pair this with, for example, stripped down lip liner or even cork to give it a very 90s feeling. And it, 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 would, it would just look fantastic with that. Exactly what I am looking for from a nude lipstick that doesn't make me look like I'm dead for a week, you know? So ladies, this is Velvet Foam. What more can I say other than thank you for watching this video? Thank you Lisa Eldridge for coming with these amazing new colors. Thank you for sending these to me. If you still want to get your hand on one of these lipsticks, I suggest you to quickly go on lisaeldridge.com and order these lipsticks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, Please give it a thumbs up, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on the ring bell button so you'll be notified every time I'm posting new videos. It will be a pity to miss some new collections, some new technique, you never know, you know? Make sure you click on that ring bell button. Follow me on Instagram if you want. Don't forget that in the description box you will always find details about the products that I'm using and also jewelry or the top that I'm wearing so check that out thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye I need it give it to me oh oh okay I thought Alex brought me something he didn't it's fine it's fine all right we're good we're good we're good we're good if one of these lipsticks drop off with your head Take it. Perfection.